Hello everybody, this is going to be a wizard tutorial on how to play wizard. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll be showing you some of the spells and stuffs and uh, everything you need to know about wizards, I guess. Um, so that closet has a bunch of robes. Also down here has special ones for Plasma Man and uh, Fox and stuff, so... Also a little food vendor here for different foods as well as other robes like clown and mime robes. And down here it's called a uh, mugwort tea. It's You're able to drink that and it heals you so it's kind of useful as well as that ritual knife. Just in case you need to do a little bit extra damage and your spells are on cooldown. So uh, this scroll you get when you spawn is called scroll of teleportation. It has four uses. You can teleport to uh, a specialized listing on the station. And uh, so you can scroll down and click what you want to choose. And then this other thing is called the spell book. This is the main thing you'll be using as a wizard. It is a book which has 10 points. As, as, as you can see, I'm scrolling down all the different places you can teleport to. You have 10 points to choose, spells, everything costs points, so uh, choose wisely. But I'll be going through all these offensive, defensive, mobility, all, the, all the artifacts, weapons, armor, stabs, and summons. And there's loadouts, we can just read through, we don't need to go, because I'll be showing all the different spells that are in these. But um, why don't we get started here in a second. You can't really... It's not really a good idea to cast spells in the wizard hideout because some of them don't work. So I will be teleporting to the admin testing area, but unfortunately it doesn't also work here very well, so I'll be teleporting to the station every now and then to use some certain spells. Okay, the first one's blind. Uh, this is a spell that only costs one point. Uh, you use it, you click on top left or you can use the spells icon on the spell tab and you can choose which one you want to blind and uh, when you activate it uh, the person will be well will look like this so for a little while and then the, their eyesight will come back but uh, very difficult for someone to kill you if they can't see you Next spell is Lightning Bolt. Uh, people don't re usually know how to use this very well, uh, so you have to click it once, and then it's charging here, and you need to click it before it completes. So if you get it very, at the very end, you click it again, it deals a lot more damage. But if you let that, that bar run the full way, it won't shoot out shock, shock waves. So uh, if you're using the Lightning Bolt, you have to click it, and then click it again before the the action's done, and then you'll shock people. The third one is the Curse of the Clune. Uh, for some reason this didn't work when I tried to show it here, but um, it, basically the person comes a clune, and uh, they get all the drawbacks of clowns, and they get stunned every now and then, and then the crew has free range to kill them, so <laughs> awful spell to put on someone. This one turns people just into a normal clown. They get all the debuffs such as fumbling weapons and hitting. And they also, I don't think they can take off the clown gear either. So that's nice. Next one is... I believe the mime. And works just as the clown. It mutes the person as a mime. Gives the same effects as a mime would. And then Curse of the Horseman, it uh, turns people's horse I mean, face into a horse mask, and if they try to speak at all, they just say, NAY! <laughs> so they can't speak to anybody. It's a very mean spell to use on people. So this next spell is uh, Disintegrate. So it's active in your hand, just like those other three ones I showed you for the Clown, Clown, and Mime. And then you have to click on someone with it in your, with your active hand, and it will give them. 
So pretty useful for keeping me. And this next one's a fireball. You have to click it on the top left where the spells to activate it, and then you click on who you want to fire it at, or area you want to fire it at. And sometimes it knocks him over and catches on fire, sometimes it takes off feet and hands. But um, yeah, uh, I've had issues with it before in a previous video I made about wizards where it, um, it, uh, what was it? Yeah, it had an issue where you would run, and then if you fired it the same way you were running, it would uh, hit you. But uh, I think they fixed that, so I guess it's more useful these days. But very scary if you accidentally hit yourself with it, because it can sleep you. And then you're dead. Usually. So this one is uh, called... Makes people into uh, statues. Flesh to stone. Um, they get stuck like that for like five minutes. It's really awful. But um, I'll show in the end of this video... Uh, what you can do to make that more enjoyable for the person and for you. But we'll get into that later. Um, so this next spell I can't use here, so I'm going to teleport to the station. It's called Mutate. It turns you into a Hulk with laser eyes. And I also have Rod Form. But um, So if you harm intent and click on someone, you'll shoot laser eyes. And, uh, and it, in order to use rod form, you have to click it and then run the direction or face the direction you want to shoot the rod. And then you'll penetrate someone and then they'll probably be close to death. But um, the Hulk also has fist power, so very powerful punches. And I believe they can also knock down walls, if I'm correct. I didn't get to try that in this one. I just kept on going. But if you want to try it out, sure, go ahead. Next is Lesser Summon Guns. Can't really use that here as, a, as I'm only playing as myself, but it's actually very costly, and then people get a random gun, and, uh... Oh, I'm sorry, that's the Bolt Action Rifle one, yeah. So what you do is you use it, and then you, you activate it, and then it shoots rifle bullets out. It's really useful, but, um... But uh, this next spell is called Disable Tech. It basically just shoots an EMP in your area. Pretty useful against uh, machine people and robots and doors and everything that has technology. Next is Repulse. Creates a single tile wall that you can pass through but no one else can. It, it can block doorways and uh, helps if you want to avoid getting shot in an area where you're fighting or just need time to heal. I'm going to show here that bullets don't pass through and such. But, um, yeah. This is also, uh, this next spell is called Greater Force Wall. It has three tiles instead of one. And it costs the same, so I don't know why you would not buy this one <laughs> compared to regular Force Wall. Um, yeah, and uh, the next one's Repulse. This is a pushback effect that you use next to people. It um, shoots them away. It doesn't really do much damage unless they hit someone or something. But uh, good to get people out. It also stuns them, so. And then we got Smoke here. Yeah, I guess it's okay to block people's view. It also makes people drop what they're holding sometimes, so... Uh, Good escape, I guess. <laughs> I used this in the previous video as well. What wizards, I believe. Uh, this next one is, uh, I believe it's the Lich. Yeah, Bind Soul. Um, can't use it here, so I'm going to be teleporting to the station again. Uh, so what this entails is that you have an item in hand, you use the Lich, and it binds your soul to that item. So every time you die, you can press the Lich button and respawn there. So, um, 
Yeah, very annoying for crew. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill myself here, and then use the lich button, and then I teleport back. But the crew can follow that little effect to uh, try to triangulate where your soul item is. But once your soul item's gone, uh, you have to either rebind to something else, or um, or die. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're dead. So, yeah. I believe you can also be incinerated before you teleport back, and then you also die. So, yes. I'm teleporting back to the admin testing area. A spell cord for Gima. It's a uh, spell that shoots magic missiles out and uh, stuns people. They follow. They follow the people. So uh, yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's it's, it's it works kind of like repulse, but it follows people instead of uh, immediately stunning people and throwing them back. This is called stop time. Um, everyone inside the little effect area besides you, besides you, gets stunned. They can't fire. They can fire, but the pellets don't move. I also have a spell here called knock. Going to be spawning a door here. But what it entails is that you press the knock button and it opens doors for you. But there's also a spell called Greater Knock, but we'll get into that later. Uh, I'm most, mostly going to be on the station now since a lot of these spells don't work here, sadly. But, um, yeah, so we have Blink, and um, what it does is that it teleports you into a random area around you. And uh, we also have Eternal Jaunt. Um, this one makes you invisible. It teleports you around. Uh, great for escaping. Blinks just for dodging. <laughs> and then we have Greater Knock. Uh, the first cast you use, it opens every single door. I mean, not it doesn't open, but it removes all the restrictions. And then if you use it again, it uses it opens all the doors around you. I can't use mind transfer because I'm the only person on the server, but if you were to use it, you'd walk up to somebody, click the, click the spell, and then you would be put into their body, and then they would be put into your body. So I would not suggest using this unless you have no robe spell. There is a um, spell called teleport. Uh, it works just like the paper one that you have in your pocket, but has unlimited uses, just has a small cooldown. Okay, so charge is used for wands, but um, we'll get into wands in a second. But um, instant summons is a very good tool to use on some items like staffs, weapons, everything, because uh, you get any sort of item and then you click on the tab at the top left for instant summons. It binds it for recall and if you lose it or someone takes it from you, you can just click it and it pops back in your hand, so yeah. And then uh, the spell No Close, it um, allows you to s cast spells without your your rope. So if you get a foot knocked off and you lose your sandals, um, you can still cast your spells. I can't really do Summon Ghosts because there's no ghosts here, but um, once you do that, all the ghosts on the server become visible. And then Summon Guns and Summon Magic, it spawns a gun, a random gun, to everybody on the server. And then Sun Magic, it spawns a... I think it can spawn, like, staves, wands, and then spell books. So, really cool. And then we're going through the wands here. We got Wand of Death, which that kills people. Wand of Polymorph. Changes people into different things. Wand of Fireball, that shoots fireballs. Wand of Door Creation. Um, Wand of Teleport, Wand of Healing. Um, but the charge spell is that if you use all the, the charges on the wand, you can recharge it, but it keeps going down by one. So instead of ten, as you had before, it had nine. And it'll keep going down until you got, like, zero. 
So we got the necromatic stone here. I can't use it really to show you guys, unfortunately, but I can tell you about it. Um, it is a handheld item. So if you kill someone or you see someone dead, you can. Um, I was trying to get it to work, but it didn't work. But, um, you click on someone with it, and then they get revived, and then they turn into a skeleton with a real Roman shield that actually blocks, and a, I believe it's Crusader sword, very dangerous sword. So they can block with that, deals a lot of damage, very useful. And then when they die, you can re you can put um, your stone into someone else. So you don't have a fixed you have a fixed number, but if they die, you can get them back. So, really useful. Then we have the scrying orb here. If you click on it, you get x-ray vision, and you can also become a ghost and check around what's going on. Um, I couldn't really get it to work here for some reason. I think I glitched it or something, but, um, yeah. For the, uh, There's also the six stone shards and spell artificer. So, what you can do is you can spawn shells with also... Um, cult shards and if they die you can capture their soul and put them in those shells and then you can choose the three juggernaut um, artificer or wraith I, I think I also have a video on this where I use this as a wizard so if you want to check that out um, it should be in my YouTube channel but um, see it in action um, so we got battle mage armor here so this protects against 16 attacks and then it permanently goes away and then it has the same armor as normal wizard robe and hat um, yeah, eh, it's space proof, I guess, but um, once those shield things go out, it's gone. But um, there's battle mage armor charges, which you can to apply on actual shield. So, um, but uh, as you can see here in a second, it doesn't um, seem to have an effect, it doesn't have a particle effect as it usually does so I think that might just be an error but these next two items they are called I don't know the actual pronounced name of this but genre genre but it's the hammer from Thor, but um, so it shocks people and it also flings them as far as possible until you hit something. So I really like using this thing. And um, yeah, stun game strong. And then there's also one called Singularity Hammer. It is the lesser known cousin. It looks exactly like the other one, but instead of shocking people and flinging them, it brings everything into the tile you're attacking. So I personally don't think it's as good, but um, I bet people probably have uses for it. Okay, now we're into the magical items of staves, or staves. This one is door opener 3000. <laughs> you shoot a particle, it opens doors, creates doors, and um, yeah, it, all these uh, staves, um, they take time to recharge, but they do recharge automatically, so that's nice. We also have a staff of healing. Um, you per unfortunately, you cannot use it on yourself, but you can use it on other people, so if you get like an apprentice, or you got raging mages, mages round, very useful. And tell the crew get it, and then revive everybody. But automatically heals people from dead to full health. Next one's Staff of Slipping. Uh, this one shoots bananas. You can find this on Lava Land. Very strong. I don't know why this thing only costs one point. It stuns people for God knows how long. Very strong. Highly recommend. People will hate you for it, but it's fine. Staff of Change. This thing, uh, you can shoot at any item. Well, not any item, but most, most items, and they will become partially sentient, and then will charge toward anyone that is not you and start biting them <laughs> so pretty cool uh, there is a neat thing you can use with this staff where you can turn someone into that statue and then shoot them with the staff in animation and they will become a weeping angel 
and uh, that's pretty fun because they can move around in darkness, people can't be looking at them in order to move, and they also deal a ton of damage. But I do believe they're supposed to be allied with the wizard, but I always see them try to kill the wizard, so unepic. Next we have the Staff of Change, just going to spawn a guy here. And uh, it changes into, I believe, Xenomorphs, Syndicate Borgs, other human species, lizards, you know, slimes. People get pissed at you for changing them, but it's whatever. Instead of a chaos, it shoots a whole bunch of different sorts of magic. I can't really explain all of it, but it basically takes like every single freaking wand, randomizes what it shoots out. So if you like chaos, use that, I guess. And then there's uh, these I can't show because uh, they require other people, but I will talk to talk to you about them. There is the bottle of ooze, which is a magical morph. That you turned into so if you don't know what morphs morphs are they can change into anybody they can go through vents and they like to eat things so also got the bottle of tickles not from not it's related to the bottle of blood but um, what it's different is it's cheaper because they deal less damage have less health and they also don't kill people that they eat so when they die everyone comes out like spawns out full health but uh, the bottle of blood, they kill people, and then when they die, if they do die, they drop demon hearts, which people can use to become blood demons, and then also everyone that spawns is dead. There's a contract of apprenticeship. You can choose between destruction, blue place manipulation, healing, and robles. Um, it'll go. Th it'll pull through the ghosts that want to choose, and then they'll spawn. I personally recommend healing and destruction. <laughs> Those are good. And then a guardian deck, it works kind of just like uh, the minor loot guardians, but they're allied with you, so pretty cool, only costs two points, but uh, they also make you deal, get damage dealt to you, so kind of a double-edged sword there if you don't get a good one, but yeah. Here I'm just going to briefly talk about the loadouts here. They're just 10 point things you can use, and then they have a provided set amount of spells that you can use. If you don't know what to pick, I guess you can use these, but I wouldn't really re recommend them. I kind of like making your own little juice sets, so. But uh, yeah, those are all the spells and staffs and abilities you can use as wizard. So I don't know if you learned anything from this, but hopefully you can come back to it if you ever get wizard. And uh, yeah, that's everything for today. Thanks for watching.